Pisces, check your Neptune and where do you have Pisces in your astrological chart. All the information you're looking for is in the description box down below. Thank you so much for supporting Psychic State. If you like a person or reading information, is in the description box down below, next to the butterfly. All right. I'm also modeling with my blank discount code at the beginning of the video, also in the description box down below. Okay. And I have officially released Psychic State's beauty products, which is at um, is in the description box down below, next to the butterfly. Okay. All right. All right. One more for Pisces. All right. Okay. So you have 121. It's Leo energy. Okay. Yeah, the rumors are cat, just gossip. I'ma just pull up on you so we can talk. OMG, where you at? Fill the pill up on you. Okay. Hard pill to swallow. Female crying over you. Karma is whooping my ass and stalking your social media. So, if you're a female Pisces, you could be crying over somebody. Or if you're a masculine Pisces, then there's a woman who's crying over you. Okay. Wish upon a star, 39, breaking down into a three. So, you're looking at what you want to come into fruition. You feel like karma is like whooping your ass in whatever way that is okay that could be spiritually emotionally financially sexually it's just whooping your ass okay queen of pentacles in reverse okay five of wands in reverse ten of pentacles in reverse six of wands is in reverse six of swords could have been seeing six 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 a lot and two of cups, five of cups. Okay. So if this is a relationship, there's a lot of jealousy. Queen of Pentacles in reverse, the feminine energy is very jealous. Capricorn, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Six of Swords, Aquarius, and Mercury. Can't let go of. Um... Well, it's interesting. It's almost like if you're in a relationship, the feminine energy, you can be very like jealous, possessive. You don't want um, your partner to leave. Okay, you don't want them to go anywhere. You don't want them to move on to something new. And so there's no drama, Saturn and Leo, but there's also Six of Wands, Jupiter and Leo, no success. If you've posted this individual, then it's like, you feel like it's not a success. You feel like you're being humiliated publicly. Five of Cups is a lot of crying, a lot of sadness, Aries, Scorpio. Trying to look at the bright side of everything. And then you have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Two of Cups. Venus and Cancer could be Leo. Uh, Virgo and Mercury. If you're in a relationship, it's only for money. There's extreme financial loss. Okay. Um, a family fighting over wills and trust funds and inheritances. Uh, if this is a relationship, there's no stability in it. No longevity in it. Okay. But with the Two of Cups... I feel like you can receive new love, okay? Because a lot of you are holding on, a lot of your, if you're in a relationship, you're so bored. You're like really bored in a relationship. You feel like you're missing out on opportunities and love. Um, feminine energy may not take care of themselves or can be um, overweight or just um, not financially stable. Like, could be in a relationship only for money. Okay? I see you having a conversation or talking or connecting to somebody where it's like lovers or friends with the two of cups, like you guys are on the same page. But you're getting out of something that doesn't have any legacy or longevity in it. 
no money involved in it, no stability involved in it. You feel like you have not been listening to your ancestors because you haven't been. And it hasn't been leading to a victory. It's just been humiliating for some of you. Okay. Let's see what's going on, Pisces. So it looks like you could be pulling up on somebody so that you could talk to someone. You feel like karma is whooping your ass and someone's like stalking your Facebook, your Instagram, your WhatsApp, something. And like you've been wishing on a star. Someone could be really far away. You want something to come into fruition. Um, you want something to be yours. Honestly, love is free. It's free. Meaning it's not control. It's not... Love is free. Okay. It's unconditional. Some of you have children with somebody. If you own a business, Pisces, it's not doing well. Okay. Or you could be like financially struggling, Pisces. There's also something about like um, at work, Pisces, you could be reported um, by like your colleagues, schoolmates, friends, like the people in your business, like I feel like you could be reported for like um, not doing your job or not. Um, like this could be like if you're in the military, the government, um, if you work in church, if you work in um Some of you, like, if you work in a garden, okay? You could get fired. And there would be, like, extreme um, loss regarding money. Some type of stability is being lost in the situation. Whatever was making um, a relationship stable is falling apart because it wasn't supposed to be, okay? 74, initiation and ceremony. This is 11, Vega, future. Some of you, if you're married, you're getting a divorce. Could be signing a contract for some of you. Um, it's like for a lot of you, if you are in a relationship, Libra energy is not romantic. It's not lovey-dovey. It's very logical. What do I gain from this? Do I climb from this socially? Do I whatever? Do I, you know, using their intellectual proficiency to advance? But that's not love, right? Um, I feel like you are being initiated to a new level of truth. All right? A new level of truth. I mean, the truth is, is love is a beautiful thing. I was thinking about that today. Love is a beautiful thing because it allows somebody the opportunity to harm you or hurt you, even if that may not be their intention, but it, it gives them the opportunity to do so. Right? And it also gives them the opportunity to not decide to do that. It's a very, um, love is a very powerful thing because when you allow yourself to feel it and express it openly and be honest about where it lies, it is found in all portions of your life. Even if you expressing that love is not, you know, um, it's not... Even if when you express that love, it's not requited, it's not accepted, it's not whatever, you are at least honest. And that's something you can live with. So you can move forward. So you can be happy. Okay? So you have early on in vegan mysticism, initiation and ceremony played an important role in making milestones in life for spiritual development. On earth today, we've often lost touch with the meanings of our ceremonies and so they feel empty when we do them. While honoring important experiences in life is crucial to feeling connected to the universe, it's something just like pawns in a bigger picture. It's time for you to tap into this ancient memory and begin experiencing life's milestones, big or small. Some of you are going to be asked out on a date by collecting, well, by collaborating them 
Oh, by celebrating them, a ceremony that expresses the sacredness of your lifetime here on Earth. Language is linear, so the concepts of linear communication limit the true scope of universal expression. Ceremony, ritual, and initiatory practices access universal archetypes and are true forms of communication that go beyond linear language. When physical beings perform ceremonies authentically, not by habit, it is possible to access deep universal truths and accelerate evolution and spiritual transformation. This is about an enlightened time of Vega where they were rooted fully in aware consciousness. Their whole lives were lived as a ceremony, a sacred expression of existence itself. In today's world, humans perform many tasks mindlessly every day and don't feel present for their own lives. Ancient practices on earth and the most mundane of tasks can become Oh, my bad. Ancient practices on Earth and Vega helped keep the mind focused on the present moment. When this is done, even the most mundane of tasks can become an expression of sacred universal consciousness. You've gotten too distracted and are sleepwalking through life. It's time for you to acknowledge that your already strong devotion to sacredness is there. It's also reminding you of a past vegan life in which you mastered this ability. As you truthfully look at your life and where it is out of balance, you can shift nearly any challenge by allowing sacredness into every act. Slow down, breathe, focus on the moment instead of worrying about the future. With retraining, this simple ability can profoundly change your life. So, Pisces, I feel like there's a lot of crying, um, sorrow, indulging to deal with sorrow or sadness. Okay, there's a lot of jealousy as well in a relationship. Like, a lot of jealousy. <sighs> this has been your reading, Pisces. Okay. Some of you, someone does not want you to leave a relationship because with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, they're using you in the relationship for money. Okay? There's a lack of fertility. Like someone can't get pregnant even potentially here. I do see you coming into something beautiful here with the Two of Cups. What's funny is when I first got this deck, I think it was years ago, you could take that as confirmation with Roke in the background. Um, I used to record on the balcony and I remember I was recording one day and this card went flying and I couldn't find it. For like two months or something, I could not find this card. I figured it was lost, it blew with the wind, whatever, and I was really in love with this deck. And then I went back out on the balcony and I was looking over the balcony and I saw it and it had fell against like um, a crease and it had been rained on, it had been through so much. I mean, it, you can tell, right? It doesn't even look, right? Um, it went through so much. I was like, oh, you really weathered a storm. You know, like water damage and all these different types of stuff. Isn't that what love is like? Isn't that what love is like? This has been your reading, all right? If you like a personal reading, it's in the description box down below next to the butterfly. Um, as well as Voodoo Products is in the description box down below next to the butterfly. And discount code is found in the description box down below also the beginning of this video, all right? Ashe. Ashe. Also, receiving a will of trust fund and inheritance for someone passing away. Okay. There's chaos happening. There's a lot of chaos happening. It's a painful ending. Touching what makes you feel most comfortable and vulnerable in your soul. Ashe Pisces.